I need to shut this off? Oh, that's cold water. I can feel it. Back at the well house. Got all the parts we need, hopefully. And hopefully no snakes. Yeah, see a spider. Just do a little check real quick. Okay. Is there electricity in here? Is that an outlet box right there? You have to have electricity around this pump, huh? Well, I meant like a plug-in. Yeah, we got it. Don't you worry. Do I need to shut this off? Or is no, it just gotta... It's gotta come out of the tank. Okay. I mean, it does kind of feel nice. It is pretty hot, but it's kind of cool and refreshing in here. <gasps> Shnikes! Oh! Hey, Thor! What's up, buddy? <laughs> you and your snaggle. Okay, well, it doesn't need a little rinse off, I guess. Are you sure that that's off? That's quite I'm, a. I unplugged everything. Well, I mean the water spigot though. That's quite a bit of water shooting out of there. Mm. Is it? Do you think the pressure is decreasing? It's coming down. I feel it. Okay. I can't really tell. There's water in the tank. Oh, in that blue tank? Yeah, because that's why it needs to be replaced. Oh. So there's a bladder. There's a bladder in here okay. that controls the pressure. I think the bladder sits up here. I'm, I, I really don't know. This, the water well guy told me about this. The bladder up here, and it pushes it down and forces the water out, right, into your water system. Oh. Sometimes when the bladders go bad, they get down here and they cover your outlet where it pushes. So it blocks it because they just go back. He said this has probably been here since the 80s or 90s. Oh, wow. And so because of the bladder eventually goes bad and seeps down, instead of it being up here pushing it down, the yeah. water, it falls and deflates, I guess, or something and covers this up. And so the water can't go. But listen. Oh, yeah, you can hear it. it tells you your depth. So we have water in the water well. Sweet. That's exciting. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Crazy, that's all that was. Mm -hmm. Putting it back in the well. What? Or are you putting it back in the well? Now I'm trying to reduce it so I don't have to pick it up as much. All right, I'm gonna throw it out there. Okay, you want me to move? I wanted to see the plumbing. Mm. What I needed. <laughs> oh, that's a, it's a much bigger tank. Yeah, to control what we're doing. He said it'd be better to have a, I think this is a 36 gallon tank. Yeah, cause that, this one would have probably just been used for like. It probably got overworked, which means it killed it. Well, because it was just a, it was just a well house originally, right? It wasn't running. Well, it was probably just running a couple of minor things here at the dairy, but we're running a thousand foot of water. Well, where Dunbar's gonna go? A thousand foot all the way down there. I don't know how many feet this one is, and this one, and they're big tanks. So yeah. every time a bison drinks out of it, it's, you know, it's kicking on because it lowers and the pump turns on, and the water starts flowing. So. Well, this is all pretty exciting stuff rolling into the heat of summer. I'm glad that we've got... Hopefully it works. Hopefully it works. There's water in the well, and now we know that it was the pressure tank, maybe, that was the problem and not... We hope. And now, yeah, because we can, we can hear it. I'd like to get this... I guess, I mean, we can figure it out, but if I had it... 
I was gonna try to reuse it. You're gonna try to reuse it or? We have to have a male threaded piece on our one inch is what we need to go in there. I think we'll be. Operation. Straight. The saws off. Coming in clutch, tell you what. So. Gonna tighten it up. A couple cranks. There. Is it heavy? No. Not at the moment. Oh. It barely fits in here. You got it? Yeah. Come on, muscles. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Here, you open it then. <laughs> well, if you can't get it, there's no way I'm going to be well, able maybe. to get it. Here, maybe one-handed I can get her open. Yeah, not happening. Not even a budging. It's the purple primer. Look out, folks. Is that the cleaner? Better. Now I've got some wiggle room to. Gives it a good seal on that main part too, and a little extra support. And you're not, yeah, it'll be better for sure. Hope so. I usually let stuff dry for 20 minutes because it's hot. This is high pressure. So it may take us, we can go ahead and hook it up, but then we may have to read the instructions as far as air pressure goes. Yeah, because. So it may take a second. That was a lot, kind of a lot. Yeah. Since I'm pretty much the water well guy in this situation. Ugh. Yep. Does that stuff like really stick to your fingers? I feel like you could get into buying quick. <laughs> yeah, like, I can. like how many people have glued themselves to the PVC pipe? May have happened once or twice. You have? I said it may have happened. Oh. Mm, yeah, I see what you're saying. You're putting pressure on it. Do you want me to? What do you need me to do? Nothing you can do. Okay. It, it went on there pretty good, don't you think? Yeah. That's as far as I could go. Yeah. All right. Let her let her uh, dry up. Okay. There's no air in here. Huh? There's no air in here. God, it's pretty hot. <sighs> we'll let it dry. In the meantime, we're gonna read about pressure tank to start it up because this is the first time um, this will be ran with a new tank. So this is better, hopefully, with 36 gallons. Versus 15, 16, probably somewhere in there. 15, 16, 14 gallon. There you go. 14 gallon. 14 gallon. It's a little guy. Yep. So startup cycle. Diagram is pressed against the bottom of the air chamber. Fill cycle, hold cycle, delivery cycle. And this one is already for starting pressure is what it says moment of truth cement here what do you think i have no idea i don't know what we're getting into here i don't know what we're getting into either so do you need to pressurize the tank at all or is it good to go you said it was good to go right no i have no idea what the box say no there was a red thing on it that said something did you take it off it was a red label attention dish. this tank has been pre-charged to 25 psi be certain the air pressure in the tank is 2 PSI below the pump start pressure. Refer to the installation manual for more information. Okay, so what's the pump, pump start pressure? This is at 40. 
Let me call a little guy real quick. <laughs> Hopefully water don't start squirting everywhere. All right, breaker's gonna go back on. Let's open this. This is our main water line. Okay, main breaker. Pressure still at close to 45. Now let's go check, check these. Let's go check the water tanks real quick. Let's see if they're filling. Huh? Let's see if they're filling. Yeah. Or they what? Should be run they should be filling until the float hits. So why don't you go to this first one? Because this is the very first one right here. Okay. Or now I'll actually go there because the bulls are in there. Okay. You go to that one. All right. Okay, I just got to this one. I see bubbles. I see movement. Okay. I know you're judging it. Don't judge it because we need to put stuff over this, but the young guys get in here. Young guys and gals. Oh, it's cold water though. Oh, yeah. Yep, that's it. So what was in here is real water. Just to recap you here. Oh, that's cold water. I can feel it. Deep well water, blowing some bubbles out. It's okay. So, we've got well water coming out. It's good, that pump's trying to, there's probably some air in the line, I'm assuming, maybe, since we have a new air pressure tank. It's like spurting like that. That bladder may be filling up in that new tank. So, what's gonna happen is once our water pressure gets up, it this will pop up and it'll stop the pump will work itself what it's filling okay so marissa's kind of back here behind the silos some of our feeder bulls are in that pen well that's where they originally go that's where they go but so there's a long line okay that runs through there behind the silos and it keeps going and that's where dunbar will be but there's another goes all the way and then there's another tank there and then we have this tank so it's got essentially three three tanks to fill up this one number two and then number three in the very back all right so the idea of this is we're going to see and make sure that we're getting plenty of water got a new air tank the next thing is we're going to see how long these run for and then basically what we'll do from there is We'll see how much water is on our actual water well and uh if we run out of water again then we what we'll know is because this is a hand dug well guys from this old dairy farm and because it's a hand dug well it's probably not very deep essentially but the idea is to see how much water is in the water well and then once it stops you know we don't know when it'll stop i'm not a water well guy so i'm sure there's lots of people making comments and you can make comments about it and what you think if you have experience with this but once uh once all these tanks fill up and then if we don't have water in the well and everything else is running correctly then we're gonna have to get a new water well drilled now the good thing is is mom and kevin like i said are sitting on the arbuckle simpson aquifer which is a good thing at the ponderosa we're not sitting on aquifer that's why we we missed on drilling some water wells um but uh so hopefully the water well has been replenished and at some point may have to drill a new one but the good thing is is you can use the housing from this water well you can use everything in it the new air pump uh the pressure tank that we just installed uh, and you can actually plumb to it uh is what i've been told if you need a new water well drilled because a new water well we can go a lot deeper and get more water and great fabulous water so I can tell you right now, I don't see any more water flowing right now. The Job float has stopped because the pressure is built up and now the switch is cut off on the pump. So Marissa says there's water in her tank filling up. I'm gonna go make sure everything's going good in the well house and then we're gonna go check the uh, big tank down below that Mike and I patched up. The overflowing. Yep. Wendy just need to adjust the float, but dang it filled up. Did you stick your hand down there and fill of it? blowing out uh-huh oh, i could see it yeah you should have felt it oh is it like shooting a good pressure it's cold oh well the water feels good in general but yeah yeah, yeah no it's cold okay yeah so i need to retie that real quick yeah. all right how do you do that this tank is awesome um 
I have to stick my hand down there. It'll run out some. And then basically I have to loosen it. And... Well, there's quite a few knots in it. That's oh, right. is there? Oh, uh, yeah, that's why I looked at it already and I was like, mm. Yep, I've already tied. Oh, here, I'll do it real quick. It's okay. All right, we adjusted this float. Beautiful water. I would drink out of that. Well, fresh well water. I mean, if you're super thirsty. All right. If I'm, if I'm super thirsty, I mean, I'm not going to come out here on a hot day just for fun and get a drink out of it. Oh, uh, you could. Yeah. All right, so now we are going to check the big water. It's our biggest water. It's not huge, but we're going to go check it real quick down in the bottom. It's the furthest one away. It's at a thousand feet. So these two tanks are good. Marissa's tank is clean cleaner than the one i just checked but it hadn't had any bison in it in a while but it's good to go now the one where dunbar is going to go that big one hopefully it's going good and it'll just be a matter of time till we see how much water is actually in this well and we could test it we could have the water well we could have the water well guy come out and look at that well but um hey it's running that's all that matters. Last well to check, or last water tank to check. And we'll <laughs> we'll leave it up to Kevin after that. Well, we're walking to the pasture because uh, it's just so wet. I started pulling in this pasture to go check this water. And it is still pretty soggy from a rain two days ago. Yep. After this day, it'll be two days ago. That was that storm that came through in the middle of the night. Crazy wind. Yeah, it did. You can see I've been miking out and coming down here to check on this and get it ready. Uh, we're going to check this water tank, see if it fills up. If I see the yellow on the top, that's a good sign. Yep. It's a little murky, but definitely filled her up. So if this doesn't tell you how much rain we've had, look at these, look at this terrace right here that was on this property a long time ago. They started putting these terraces in, I'm sure, all over America, if you, most of you know. But uh, I put this tire tank on the terrace and then I put a bunch of rock around it. But I can, that is something we need to do is we need to come back when this ground dries up. We're gonna come back and put some of that one inch crusher rock around this. But over time, it's some of the water has eroded it. Um, I've kind of built, I've built up a pad, but it's probably water erosion and then just trampling it and stomping it from the bison and their, their hooves and heavy bodies have pushed down the rock. We're going to have to come through and put another base around, uh, all of these tire tanks. Um, the one, the one I checked, um, it's good, but this one for sure needs it because eventually it could leak out the back of that. And, uh, you don't want you don't want it to erode underneath that tire and all the work you did is just gone. So anyways, it's good. We are full of water on this tank. That one's a little murky because somebody has been in it here recently. Um, but uh, anyways, water well is back to running for how long? We don't know. <laughs> it could run for a couple hours and then be over. So that's the next thing, the moment of truth will be whenever the well goes dry. Hopefully it doesn't go dry with all the um, rain water we've had this spring and early summer. Yeah. Fingers crossed, uh, we don't have to use that roll water because it's a lot more expensive. Basically with this pump, all you have to do to get water to that is pay your electric bill. That's essentially it. Aquifer water is, uh, I wouldn't say it's for free, but it's definitely a blessing uh, to have well water. A lot of you probably understand that if you're former farmers and ranchers, but it's so important to have well water, but all we gotta do is pay that electric bill for that pump to run so we can get water to our bison. And it's just efficient. It's efficient. And all we have to do is just make sure that it's not running over and the, and the, um, the floats are working, really. Yeah, your floats work. I mean, you don't have to water your animals, essentially check it but you know all you gotta do is check it every now and then rotate them make sure it's uh, good clean them out every now and then we always clean them out uh we probably need to do a better job of putting things over them so they're they they do not get in it 
uh, but that's uh, that's on us, and there are ways to to keep them out of it, and so we just kind of need to do that. That's a whole nother project. So, anyways, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Keep on busting, ranching.